G-Man Boxing. Do you know what I mean? Every single live he donates. I see him on other lives donating, donating, donating. He's got the bag on it. All right, people. Interesting video I seen today. Anthony Joshua confront some hecklers uh, in a college. I can't remember exactly where the college was, but I did see the video. Apparently, the group of students, little guys, they were just conf they were giving AJ BS about Tyson Fury. You know, saying, "Why are you talking Tyson Fury and AJ in the video?" You know, AJ is speaking. When I see, when I actually saw the video originally, before I clicked on it, I thought, oh, is he going to be yelling at these? Is he going to be going in? He's actually quite calm. He's just saying, none of this BS, you know, if my people come in here, they'll break your glass jaw. You know, there'll be guys who can run you out of this uni. It's stuff like that. And my thoughts on this are fair play, AJ. Fair play. I really do think that this needs to be done more. Because at the end of the day, right, we live in a world now where people like Anthony Joshua, you know, like Tyson Fury, like that, the level of abuse that certain people give these people, it's just crazy. And it's not like, you know, it's not just these guys. In any sport, you know, in any sport, some of the things I've seen people, comments people have left online, and that's the problem with it, is the online end. It gives these people who, I mean, if you met them on a night out and stole their drink, they wouldn't even bat an eyelid. But on Twitter, they're, you know, giving it this, giving it that, saying this, and saying, you know, you're no, I could even beat you. Ha, ha, ha. Laugh out loud. Look at you. Ha, ha, ha. And I think someone, for someone like AJ to say, now, hang on a sec. Enough's enough. I'm going to confront you on that. I would have loved to have known what the guys were thinking when they saw AJ because they were like, oh, balls. But it's just, that's the way it's gone, unfortunately, nowadays. You know, you have these people who, you know, I don't even know what to say. They, they, they wouldn't do anything in real life, you know, but on their little internet world, you know, behind the safety of, you know, closed doors, behind the safety of Twitter, Facebook, etc. They'll say, you know what, many of these people wouldn't have even, probably would never even hit a heavy bag. The heavy bag would probably win the fight, <laughs> but they're happy enough to say these things on Twitter. I think it's absolutely just silly. You know, and people could say, you know, gee, you know, you say things about fighters, you know, you're very harsh on Tony Bellew. Yeah, very harsh on Tony Bellew. But that's being objective. You know, I give him very few, very few times in his career, I've given him praise. You know, when I talk about his career, I give him praise because he had a great career. But in terms of a person, I don't particularly like him. You know, if, if he ever comes out, like for example, he does say things I agree with, like when he was on about that interview, I think it was on Good Morning Britain, where the guy was, was saying to Eddie Hearn about how boxing is bad, and Bellew was saying that guy's an idiot, and yeah, he 100% agree. Guy doesn't understand, doesn't understand boxing, and the mindset behind it. But when he's doing things like, you know, you know the way he can be on the zone, I just criticise it, because I don't, I'm watching the zone to be entertained, I don't want to see it. But I don't, I don't, part I don't think I'd like him as a person. Right, but I don't hate the guy. I don't wish any ill health on him. I wouldn't do that. I'm not that type of person. But you have people who just they live to just get. Re I think what it is 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 that they're hoping to get reactions. I think that's what it is, but not like an AJ reaction. Just the kind of a you know, I f you, or, or they kind of bite back. Do you know, so I think some people really like that. You know, but it's crazy. You know, it's crazy the way some people can be, and just the you know. When, when I see that, right, I, I flash back to when, I think it was 2008, just tell you a little story here. And this is when people who chat BS really, now this is a whole, this is just a, a random story, I'll tell you this here. It's back when I was in school. And this is when people who, you know, let their kind of mouth do all the talking, they can't back up. They really, you know, <laughs> they, they come to regret it. And when I was back in school, I would have been about, I think it was about 15 I think it was oh nine. I think it was, and basically, where I'm from in North County Dublin is a place called Swords. It's actually quite nice. It's probably one of the nicer parts of the north side. But like like any part, like any place, there'll always be a, a few estates that you know people would know as maybe kind of ah that's a bit rough. That's a bit rough. 
there's always going to be that. At the school I went to, there's um, three, there's four schools in Soros. One's an all girls school, one's an all boys school, and I went to a, a school where it was just both. And my school probably was probably the least nice out of all of them. So that's where you would tend to get the few more rougher people in there. But I remember a guy in my class, and he was only ever in my French class, but he was a, like, if Twitter was around, it probably was in 09, but this is probably early, this was early in 09. And if Twitter was around back then, and it was the level it was, he'd be the kind of guy trolling everyone. But I remember this guy gone, but this guy was had a massive ego. Could not fight. Just could not fight. Didn't look like much, had a massive ego, and thought he was better than a lot of people, because, you know, he was raised in kind of the, the upper middle class kind of thing and he'd always look down on the people who were kind of coming from some of the rougher areas he'd always look down on them and he wouldn't be afraid to you know say kind of like i'm better than you and i remember one day there was two people one of them was from an estate in swords called cronos and that's a rough estate it's a really rough estate in swords it's not a big one but it's rough it's known for that and then there was another guy who wasn't from a rough estate per se but i he was known as being a ruffling put it like that and I remember this guy just going, I, I actually happened to be sitting next to him, funny enough. But I remember him going to him in the class, and he was like, you're scruffy, and you know, I've, I've got, I've, I think he had like a Sony Ericsson, which at the time was kind of like, if you did, if you couldn't get a touchscreen, because I think these were the early days of touchscreens, it was the next best thing. And he called them everything, twat, this, that, and the other. And I remember they, they just said something to him, like, I forget exactly what they said, but I'll never forget this, because my face dropped. He said to them, do you both want a broken nose? Because I know people who'll be able to do it. And I was like, well, I hope you don't mean me because this ain't my fight. And they turned around and they said, well, are they here now? Oh, well, uh, no, they're not actually, but they're in, you know, some of the other classes around the school. And they were like, all right, it's on. Now, I remember he got a bit of a beating. I remember they smashed his phone to bits. But they went to Neem and they ended up hitting the phone. But I remember just looking at that and just thinking, what was the point in that? What, why did you do Why did you say that? Why did you say something you couldn't back up? What was the point in that? Like, you, you're literally, you're down a phone. You took a little, it wasn't a bad beating or anything like that. But you just, for no reason other than just to run your mouth. And like, it did, I don't get it. I just don't understand it. In terms of this situation with AJ, you know, some people are saying has AJ you know, cracked mentally, is this AJ kind of, you know, the mental scars of, like, Usek, it's kind of coming to him, and now he's struggling to, I don't think it's that, I think it's just the case of AJ is, like, probably going about his own business, and he, you don't need that, you know, you don't need that, you know, I've been quite lucky, since I've been doing YouTube, I only ever had the odd, the odd idiot come at me and say, yeah, you know, you're this, you're that, and, you know, blah, 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 like, it just, it just, like, it just, like, water just flies off you, but for someone like AJ, you know, I mean, I'm sure he got, when he goes on Instagram or Twitter or something, like, there's probably people heckling him in his messages, probably people saying, you duck fury every single day of the week, and for people to say it to him in real life, maybe he looked at that and just thought, you know what, not today, son, not today, I'm making an example out of you. And you know, obviously he didn't do anything and he wouldn't. Believe me, AJ is smart enough to know not to do at it. Not because, because the repercussion sponsors, you know, get potentially getting sued. He knew better. But I think that he was right to do what he did. I think he was right to confront them. And again, with AJ, look, I don't know what way his mind is. Um, I really don't know. What way AJ is mentally in terms of everything going into this Usek rematch. I don't know if this is a sign that maybe he's starting to lose it mentally. I couldn't make heads or tails of it. But I, I think for AJ it's got to be a bit difficult. Because when AJ beat Klitschko, the amount of love and praise he was getting. Like, i never seen anything like it. And for a lot of them to do a 180 and turn. You know? It, it, like, a lot of them did. Po especially post-Ruiz. But definitely after the Usek loss. A lot of them were just like... They were, they were glory seekers, you know them kind of guys. And they were just like, nah, no more. Nah, no more. Now we're going to give you crap because Fury is the guy now. So now we're going to praise him and give you crap. What I'm telling you now, had that have been Tyson, had that had been the Tyson Fury of 2017, going to that college, they'd be saying, why are you ducking AJ, huh? Bet you anything, that would have been what's happening. So that's my thoughts on this. Let me know what your thoughts in the comment section are. Do you disagree? open to disagree 
do you think that actually AJ should just say, do you know what, they're beneath me, I'm just, say what I want, I know the truth, I know what's going on, the hell with you, and just don't bite. Do you think he should have done that, or do you think, like me, he was right to just say, I'm making an example out of you. Not in the physical sense, but in, track just going by up the road, I hope you didn't hear that, but <laughs> not in the physical sense, but just in the sense of just, you know, say it now. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. We get midweek report out tomorrow for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this and want to talk about this tonight. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'll leave you with that, lads and lassies.